Hello all. In this video, today uh, we will discuss the profits and loss. So before we are going to do any calculation in this chapter, uh, first of all, we must introduce the meaning of different words. For last time, we have the percentage increase and decrease or even percentage change. You will have the original value and the new value. And this time for profit and loss, you will have two different numbers, uh, two different words, not two different numbers. The first word I want you to know is the cross price. To, uh, this time you must uh, imagine that you are a shopkeeper. You are going to buy something to sell to the others. So first of all, you will have the cross price. That is called Sengbun. That means you are going to buy something first with a very low price. And you are going to sell it to the uh, customer. That means that you must sell a higher price so that you can gain some money in the trade. So this is called selling price. In Chinese, it's called sao ga. So in the different way, you will see you will gain something. That means if you gain something that is profit. In Chinese, this is zan. So if you lose something, if you lose some money, you will have a loss. That will be pui or a si. Okay, so we will have these four words. First of all, so obviously for the first formula, you must remember is the profit. That means the zan will equal to the selling price minus the cross price. So that must be a positive number. Because always, it, the selling price must be higher than the cost so you can get some profit in it. After that, you are going to calculate the profit percent. And every time you must remember that is that the profit over cross price times 100% will be the profit percent. Uh, it's similar to the percentage increase that always will use the older price. So this time the cross price is the older price. Last time you have the percentage increase with the original value is the older one. So you have the older one as the denominator. So this time you will always have the cross price for the denominator times 100%. Okay, and then you will have the number formula three. That is the profit will equal to the cross price times profit percent. It's easy for you to understand is that because you are going to write something from here, because the profit percent will equal profit over a cost price. I, I just write cross here so that I can save some space for me to calculate. If you put the cross, this is divided by cost. So you move the cost to the left hand side. That means that you are going to time something. So you have the profit percent times cost will equals profit. That will be the formula for number three. And so the formula two is same as formula three. And finally, we have the selling price is the cross price times one. That means the cross price plus the cross price times the profit percent. So this is the profit. So we add them together will be the selling price. So it's similar to number one. So we have these formula, four formulas says this. So at the same time, other than the cross price and the same price and the profit, we will also have the loss percent. Let me move the formula to the right hand side. Okay, now this time we will have the loss. For loss once again, because this time you lost something, that means the selling price must be lower than the cross price. So you will have the cross price minus the selling price. And the loss percent, obviously, once again, the loss over the cross price times 100%. So with the similar way, you will get number three, the loss will equal the cross price times the loss percent. So they are similar. 
And once again, the cross price must be in the denominator. And also finally, you have the selling price, which equals to cross price times one. This time it's minus because you lose something. That is the loss. So you lose the cross minus the loss so that you will get the selling price. So before you do this, you must know what is the Chinese meaning and what is the meaning of this formula. And net now, we will go to another video so that we will do some exercise for you all. Okay, thanks for watching.